Hey guys, Sam here, and today we're in Upper Brookville, New York, looking at this lovely equestrian estate called Gray Horse Farm. This massive property was built in 1924 on nine acres of land, and it's full of unique features and a lot of history. The property consists of 10 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, and 17,500 square feet of interior space. Some of the amenities include a 55-foot swimming pool with a private pool house, 10 fireplaces, three horse sheds, several paddocks, a basketball court, a tennis court, and much more. This property was originally on the market for $15 million, but is now available for $7,995,000. We have a lot to review, so let's get started. So before we head inside, I wanna talk about these massive metal gates over here. You'll see they're about 15 feet tall and they were actually made in the early 1900s by a master blacksmith named Sam Yellen. Now these were actually made for the JP Morgan estate, which was one of the first jobs he ever received. So this estate has a lot of history. Something worth noting is that this property is actually where the movie Michael Clayton starring George Clooney had its opening scene. So if the front of this property looks very familiar to you, it's because that's where it was. So here we're in an archway and we're gonna enter the house right through here where we're greeted by these beautiful teak floors. And we have some access to the backyard over there, which we're gonna look at a little bit later. But first we're gonna come into the library right over here. You'll see we have a lot of elegant furniture and you're gonna notice floor to ceiling millwork. So again, everything here is wood, a lot of beautiful pieces. And again, very, very, very rustic pieces. Uh, over here being one of the more interesting ones. So this is a classic globe. And if you look over here, there's actually the Soviet Union. So that's how old this piece of art is. Now I wanna take you this way where you're gonna see there are some actual hidden cabinets right over here and they're all across the room. So if you just open this up, you see you can store some hidden books and whatnot. But again, you have more cabinetry over here as well. So as we leave the library, we're greeted by this big hallway over here where we have a lot of closet space. So there's one closet over here. You'll notice there's an elevator over here which leads to the second floor, which we're gonna look at a little bit later. But if you head over this way, again, lots of closet space, an office over here. And then finally, we enter the game room. The first thing you're gonna notice in the game room is of course the pool table. You have some of the cues and whatnot in the back for some storage. And if you head over this way, there's something really unique that I wanna show you guys. Over here, this little tiny alcove, you actually have access to some panels that control the fireplace and a few other things in this room. But over there, you can actually see what we're talking about. So again, very beautifully designed room, a nice cozy centerpiece over here fireplace in the corner. It is a wood burning fireplace as well. And I want to point out some of the artwork as well. It's about 10 feet by 20 feet wide. Nice piece of tiger art. And again, in this direction, you're going to start seeing some more artwork. Lions, beautiful fireplace, wood burning fireplace, and more artwork in this direction over here, as well as this unique piece, which is some sort of wooden lamp. As we enter this way, we have the formal dining room. You're greeted by this beautiful glass countertop table. Lovely piece of rustic uh, chandelier over here. And over here, something I really wanna point out, this is a one of a kind piece from Zubair and C. So this is one of the oldest wallpaper companies in the world. They started in 1797. And if you'll see over here, everything is hand painted. So again, it's one of a kind and you're not gonna see many things like this. Over here, you also have a little alcove where you could put some statues, some artwork, whatever you enjoy. And again, another massive wood burning fireplace. This thing is up to my shoulder, so it's pretty big. And then finally over here, you have the kitchen, which also leads to the outdoor area, but we're gonna look at that just a moment later. Next up over here, we have a room that I'm not exactly sure what it is. I spoke to the agent and they told me that they think this might've been a room where you could take phone calls upon entering the house. But over here, you'll see it also has its own little water closet. And this is the horticulture room, plant room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, not being used currently, but it has a lot of stuff that you can use for just general horticulture. And if anything you want to grow, you have all the resources you need. Let's go this way. And we're going to end up in the butler's pantry. So this is where your butler would stay to prepare all your food, drinks and whatnot. You see we have a nice little wet bar over here, a sink, and pretty much all the resources you can need to have a nice little vent. In this direction, we're gonna start going towards the kitchen. So you'll see you have this gigantic center island and an even bigger fridge set over here. So these are two Sub-Zero fridges, massive, massive pieces. And again, even the door is kind of heavy. You know, if you need storage, you have pretty much everything you can imagine over here. So you have the oven, the microwave, lots of countertop space. And as you can see, we have a very, very large oven hood, as well as an oven that also includes Coal. So if you wanted to actually barbecue over here, you'll see that you can do that here as well. And in this direction, you can see we have the backyard area, which we're going to look at in just a moment. As we head in this direction, we have the dining area that's right next to the kitchen, glass countertop tables, lucite chairs, 
couple chandeliers as well as the outdoor area, which again, we're gonna look at in just a moment. But we're gonna head over in this direction right now and take a look at something that's very unique. In this room, with an ice box, you would actually bring ice from outside from like a frozen lake, and then you would store it in here. And you see, you'd keep it in here to actually keep things cold. Now in the past, you'd actually have to bring ice from outside. This was actually converted into a refrigerator, so it functions like a normal refrigerator would. So you can see, again, still being used as normal. If you had to bring ice outside because you didn't have a cooling mechanism, you'd actually have to put something like sawdust on top of the ice, so that way you could maintain temperature, and it would hold for surprisingly long periods of time. Now we're back in the entryway and we're gonna head in this direction where you're gonna see a beautiful spiral staircase, but we're not actually gonna use that to head upstairs. Instead, we're gonna head to this beautiful elevator and the journey begins. And now we begin the journey on the second floor. Now we're in the master bedroom and you can see over here, we have the bedroom set, workout equipment, another beautiful fireplace, some seating area, and we're gonna head over to the bathroom in this direction where you can see we have this beautiful stand-up shower, a toilet as well as a bidet, and this beautiful marble encased bathtub. Lots of natural light as well, so you can see all the scenery around you. Right next to the bathroom, we have the her closet. So a lot of closet space here. Uh, you can see mirrors everywhere, another fireplace, because why not have a fireplace in your closet? And even more unique is that this entire room, including the walls as well as the ceiling, are covered in fabric, so very, very unique aesthetic. As we head in this direction, we have some more closet space. So you can see we have the cedar closet over here, a bit of a unique rustic looking closet. And in the other direction, you're gonna see we have the gentleman's closet. Again, nice space, not as much as the ladies' closet, but that's to be expected. We have another bathroom in this direction, and this one has some unique features. So if you look in this direction, we actually have a beautiful sauna that can fit a couple of people on there, as well as this nice walk-in shower. This shower room actually has some seating area, so a lot, of, uh, a lot of space for you to clean up. And of course, toilet, sink, a lot of beautiful wallpaper and whatnot. Next up, we have another bedroom in this direction. So this is the child's bedroom. Uh, some very unique features over here. You'll notice that we have a fireplace because there's fireplaces in almost every room. And something that I want to bring attention to is actually this wallpaper. They have leather textured wallpaper throughout the entire room. And in this direction, there's also a closet as well as a bathroom area on this side over here. This room has leather wallpaper as well. And if we head in this direction, we have another walk-in closet with a lot of beautiful cabinetry as well. As we go down the hallway, we have another bedroom over here. So you have the bedroom set, two closets, and it has its own personal bathroom here as well. Again, all the basic amenities and of course some very unique wallpaper to go with everything and it's even covered on the light switch, which is something you don't see too often. In this direction, we have another bedroom right next to the previous one. So we have the bedroom set. That door actually leads to the bathroom that we were just at. We have a marble fireplace over here because every room almost has a marble fireplace at this point. And over in this direction, we have one final closet. So again, plenty of closet space. At the very end of the hallway, we have the playroom. So this is a really long room. You see we have exposed wooden beams, and this is basically where you put a gym, but at the moment it's, you know, you see a lot of kids stuff, so you can basically use this room however you like. At the very end over here, you'll notice we have some more closet space, and finally, a nice little bathroom at the end. So right over here, we have the stairs for the third floor where we have two bedrooms, as well as a bathroom and a few seater closets, so plenty of storage space over there. But for now, we're gonna head over and take a look outside. Now that we're done with the interior, we're gonna start looking at some of the exterior features. So we're gonna head in this direction and take a look at some of the stables. We have a five car garage, and in this area, we have the stables. Yank this open. And again, you're gonna see we have a totally usable horse stable. So if you are into the equestrian arts, this is gonna be something very suitable for you. As we head in this direction, we have this beautiful brick walkway and it's leading us into the pool area. So over here, you can see we have a 55 foot pool. It's currently covered because of the seasons, but again, beautiful saltwater heated pool. We have some stone seating areas over there. And in this direction, again, some more seating areas covered because it's fall. This is a piece of gigantic piece of driftwood with a glass uh, top. Again, very unique uh, piece of art. You don't see something like this too often. And over in this direction, we have the pool house. A couple lounging chairs, so when you're done with the pool, you can dry off a little bit. And it has a few other amenities as well. So you have a private bathroom over here, as well as a wet bar and a fridge. So as we head in this direction, we have the adult play area, 
where we got a tennis court in this direction. And over here, we have something that I would personally use a lot, and that's the basketball court. Really, really well done. And something that makes this property especially unique is that you have a basketball court as well as horse stables, so you have something for everybody. Finishing off this tour, we have this beautiful walkway over here that's gonna take us to where the horses play, so we're gonna check out the paddocks. You have this nice little cozy oasis where you can relax. It's got a nice little seating area over there, so if you wanna appreciate the environment, enjoy your nice nine acre plot of land, definitely a pleasant place to do it. Again, you can see a lot of open space in this direction, but now we're gonna check out the paddocks. So, as you can see over here, we have some more areas where you can store horses, and here are all the areas where they can roam. So you have six different sections where you can store horses individually. So if you're an equestrian enthusiast, this has pretty much everything you can need. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour of this lovely estate. You have pretty much all the amenities you could ever need, as well as a lot of great shopping nearby, like the Americana Mall. I wanna give a big thank you to Nancy Keith from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services for allowing me to tour this unbelievable property. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want some more information about this property, I'll have information in the description below. Take care, guys.